So what is the difference between a competitive and a non-competitive inhibitor? Here's a badly drawn enzyme. I'm going to mark the active site in red. Normally, our substrate, which I'll draw in green, fits it perfectly, comes in to the active site, and we have a reaction. In competitive inhibition, we also have an inhibitor, which I will draw in black here, that fits into the active site and stops the reaction, stops the enzyme working. These two are fighting or competing to fit into the active site. If you have a mixture of substrate and inhibitor, it will slow down the reaction where the inhibitor occupies the active site. However, we also have a second type of enzyme, totally different system, so I'll draw a different shape, like this, called an allosteric enzyme. We have our substrate that fits the active site. Fits in, reaction happens. However, this time the inhibitor fits another site on the enzyme. Here it fits it here, and that causes the entire enzyme to change its shape. So if we draw this whole thing again, excuse me, there's got to be an easier way to do this, bends the whole thing up, round like that, so that we end up with a different shape of enzyme because our inhibitor has come into the site here. That now means that our substrate cannot fit. So a competitive inhibitor, such as this, is where our inhibitor, hello, fits the active site. Whereas a non-competitive inhibitor, hello, fits a second site, altering the shape of the enzyme, no longer allowing it to work. Generally, our non-competitive inhibitors are going to be more effective because every one of them doesn't have to compete with the substrate for that site. Every one of them can be effective every time.